on Arthur McBride as we went walking down by the seaside. Now mark what followed and what did the tide for it being on Christmas morning. Out for recreation we went on a tramp and we met Sergeant Nupper and Corporal Vamp and a little wee drummer intending to camp for the day being pleasant and charming. Good morning, good morning, the sergeant did cry, and the same to you gentlemen we did reply, intending no harm, but we meant to pass by for the day being pleasant and charming. But says he, my fine fellows, if you will enlist, it's ten guineas in gold that will slip in your fist. And a crown in the bargain, kick up the dust, and a drink the king's health in the morning. For a soldier he leads a very fine life, and he always is blessed with a charming young wife. And he pays all his debts without sorrow or strife. And his days being pleasant and charming And a soldier he always is decent and clean In the finest of clothing he's constantly seen While other poor fellows go dirty and mean And sup on thin gruel in the morning But says Arthur, I wouldn't be proud of your clothes, for you've only the lend of them, as I suppose. You dare not remove them one night, for you know if you do, you'll be shot in the morning. And although that we are single and free, we take great delight in our own company. And we have no desire, strange faces to see. Although that your offers be charming, and we have no desire to take your advance, all hazards and dangers we barter on chance. And you'd have no scruples to send us to France, where we would get shot without warning. Oh no, says the sergeant, I'll have no such chat, and I neither will take it from Spalpeen nor Brat. And if you insult us with one word, we'll cut off your heads in the morning. And then Arthur and I, we soon do our odds, and we gave them no time for to draw their own blades. When a trusty shillelagh went over their heads, and bad Take that as fair warning. And their two rusty rapiers that hung by their sides, oh, we flung them as far as we could in the tide. Now take them out, devils, cried Arthur McBride, and temper their edge in the morning. And the little wee drummer, we soon took his pow, and we made a football of his rowdy dow dow. Threw it in the tide for the rock and the roll, and bad and a tedious returning. And we having no money, paid them off in cracks, and we gave no respects to their two bloody backs. And we lathered them there like a pair of wet sacks, and left them for dead in the morning. Then so to conclude and to finish disputes, we obligingly asked if they wanted recruits. For we were the lads who would give them hard clouts and bid them look sharp in the morning. Thank you.
my cousin one Martha McBride as we went walking down by the seaside. Mark what now followed and what did betide? For it be on Christmas morning.